With vRealize Easy Installer, you can install vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager 8.0.1 by downloading the ISO file to provide LCM deployment inputs for a new deployment. You're required to provide a new set of inputs for vIDM and vRealize Automation to install a new instance of vRealize Automation. Once you've configured vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager, you can verify your data center, vCenter, and vRealize components. Let's first install the Easy Installer file from the My VMware download page. Browse to your local machine and click CD-ROM. Navigate to vrlcm-ui-installer and click the required operating system. In this video, let's select Win32. Click the Installer file. This opens the vRealize Easy Installer wizard, which gives you two options, Install and Migrate. As we are covering the installation scenario in this video, let's click Install on the Welcome Wizard of Easy Installer. On the introduction screen, click Next. Read and accept the end user agreement. The Customer Experience Improvement Program is checked by default. Click Next. Enter the vCenter server host name or an IP address. Enter the username with administrative privileges on the target server and provide a valid password. You are prompted with a certificate warning message. Read the content and click Accept. On the location page, select a valid data center or a VM folder where you are deploying your virtual appliances. Select a resource, which is the cluster, where you want to deploy your virtual appliances. Click Next. Select a data store and select the Enable Thin Disk Mode checkbox. Click Next. Configure your network settings by entering data in these fields and then click Next. Set password for all products. The password entered here acts as a root and an admin password for vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager. The root password is also applicable for VRA. Click Next. Enter the appliance name, IP address, and host name. Click Next. If you've selected Install New VMware Identity Manager, then you have to configure a new instance. Enter the virtual machine name, the IP address, host name, and default configuration admin. You can also import an existing VIDM with version 3.3.1. When you enable the Sync Group Members to the Directory when adding a Group checkbox, Members of the groups are synced when groups are added from Active Directory. Click Next. If you want to install vRealize Automation, then you can choose to configure the fields on this screen. Enter the vRealize Automation environment name and its associated license key. If you choose to configure a vRealize Automation cluster, you have to first configure a master node and add more nodes to form a cluster. Click Next. The summary page lists all of the details you entered. We recommend that you review them before you click Submit. After you submit the changes, you can view the progress of your installation here. Once the action is completed, click on this URL or copy and paste it on a new browser. Enter the LCM user credentials to access the Lifecycle Manager UI. For more information on vRealize Easy Installer, go to docs.vmware.com.